Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sister Wives actress Mary Brown couldn't make things work with Amos Andrews. They split up after four months. Has Cody Brown wrecked her life and career? Sister Wives star Mary Brown just announced her breakup with Amos Andrews, and it's probable that her earlier split with Cody Brown's casting a long shadow. Since her troubles with Cody was such a significant influence on her life, Mary may find it hard to completely move on. For decades, she was Cody's least loved wife. She befriended Robin Brown, but that wasn't enough to establish a bridge to Cody. He iced her out again and again. In Sister Wives season 18, Mary took a timid first step towards freedom, letting Cody know that she planned to go back to Utah, where Mary's B&B, Lizzie's Heritage Inn, is located. He recommended that she continue around, but live in a Barno Dominium together with his cast-off things. She was saddened by that, but still didn't call it quits with the Uber Patriarch. However, she eventually bailed out, following in Christine Brown's footsteps. Janelle Brown also flew the coop. Did Mary Brown's trust issues spark her split with Amos Andrews? Mary Brown said she and Amos Andrews weren't on the same page. Mary took to Instagram to announce her split with Amos. She used her recent Fridays with Friends program to disclose facts on the breakup, noting that the end of their relationship was a tremendous bummer. Mary said that they still care for each other. In another Instagram post, Mary noted that, we have different dreams and aspirations, different communication styles and values, different views for our futures, and these things aren't aligning. Mary bailed out of her connection with Amos immediately. She may be gun-shy after a dreadful spiritual relationship with Cody. Were she and Cody ever really happy? It feels like they were never in sync. At the outset, she was Cody's first wife. Mary was the legal wife. She agreed with Cody that bringing in another woman was the proper thing to do. At that moment, they didn't look really unhappy, but if Cody had been really in love with Mary, he probably wouldn't have wanted anybody else. Maybe he would have set his polygamous ideals aside. Imagine Robin as the first wife. Would Cody have taken another spouse? Probably not. He genuinely fell in love with Robin. After he met her, he started phoning it in with the other three wives. He didn't want to sleep with them or confide in them. He was all about his queen, Robin. This kind of rejection cuts deep, and Mary endured it for decades. Yes, Mary cheated on Cody with a woman disguised as a man. That was her fault, but wasn't her loneliness the true problem? Wasn't Cody accountable for how alone she felt in the spiritual union? He does deserve a lot of responsibility. The fact that he wouldn't forgive Mary for it was incredibly harsh. Anyone could see that she was yearning for a touch of romance and passion. Cody wouldn't deliver. Cody made his unloved wives feel so small. They got the crumbs of his devotion. They felt jealous and disregarded. Then, when they eventually left him, he grew upset. Mary had a pretty tough ride with Cody, and now, as she attempts to make it work in the dating world, she may find that so many old concerns are resurfacing. Did she give Amos a fair shake or bolt for the hills as soon as they struck a little turbulence? More specifics about their troubles may be exposed, but it's possible that Mary's deepest and most personal feelings regarding the divorce will never be revealed. Maybe Emma started to remind her of Cody. At the first sign of insensitivity or ambivalence, she bolted like a scared horse. Of course, Mary would have compared Cody and Amos. That's just human nature. If only unconsciously, she may have been looking for parallels. Possibly, she ruined her relationship with Amos rather than staying in a relationship that wasn't perfect. Mary may face with the same stuff in her future romance. There's always the potential that she'll wind up alone because Cody did so much damage. Mary Brown's B&B &B may not get as much business now that she's single. Mary Brown's not in a plural marriage anymore. Lizzie's Heritage Inn is Mary's pride and joy, but her passion project may suffer a financial hit because she's not longer a polygamist. 
when she decided to leave Cody, Mary went into the unknown. While she'll always be famous because of sister wives, things are different now. To stay relevant, she may have to really push into self-promotion. Since her conflict with Cody is very much done, some viewers may grow less interested in her. That might make them less amenable Mary to staying at home hard to retain her relevancy. Maybe a little too hard. She's been posting a lot on Instagram, maybe scared about losing part of her fame due to her breakup with Cody. For example, Mary announced a stunning red hair makeover on the platform. However, soon enough, Mary reverted back to a more appealing light brown tint, which is a better fit for her skin tone. Aside from hair modifications, Mary's overshared about her connection with Amos. She hadn't been dating him for long when she began telling the world about him. Maybe it was just too soon to go public. The strains of being a high-profile marriage might have actually driven the pair apart. Amos got dragged for child support payment concerns. He wouldn't have relished seeing such headlines. That controversy might have made him contemplate dating a renowned woman. If Mary hadn't put the connection out there, the skeletons in his closet could still be a secret. Mary Brown's Lularo venture may not be as lucrative now that she's alone. Will Mary Brown's fans stop buying Lularo leggings? For years, Mary's been tied with a controversial fashion firm, Lularo. Lularo was eviscerated in an eye-opening Netflix documentary, Lularich. That documentary's trailer is presented above as per Prime Video at YouTube. Mary's utilized her fame to rise higher in that organization. However, Lularo's business ethics aren't exactly celebrated. Lularo's accolades sell on behalf of the company. They buy products, such as leggings with bold patterns, and then try to sell their stockpiles to their connections. Since the owners of Lularo have been accused of conducting a pyramid scam using a multi-level marketing business model, this company doesn't have a positive reputation. Mary maintains promoting Lou Lauro, even though she's well aware of its shady image. Christine chose to dissociate herself from Lou Lauro. Now that Mary's a single woman, she may find that followers are less invested in buying what she's peddling. In the case of Lou Lauro, this might not be a bad thing for the world in general, but it would significantly damage Mary's earnings. The trouble about Lou Lauro is that it crushes some people's dreams. Higher-ups drive new recruits to purchase, buy, buy, and to bring in fresh sellers under them. In this game, sales aren't guaranteed. If someone buys a lot of stock and can't unload it, they may wind up in debt and sad. A number of folks have experienced this experience. Also, the corporation has been accused of providing things to sellers which are in bad condition, such as Lularo's famed stinky leggings. Mary's heavily connected with Lularo's corporate culture. She attends their conferences, where the company's ethos is reinforced over and over again. Lularo's selling the American dream, but only a tiny group of sellers truly experience that kind of wonderful consequence. The ones who lose money undoubtedly wish that they'd never heard the brand name Lularo. Now, Mary may begin to grasp what it's like to be a less successful Lularo devotee, it's not pleasant. When Cody opted to ruin his multiple marriage by choosing Robin, his choice had far-reaching implications. Janelle has complained about money troubles, and Mary may follow suit later. Hopefully, that won't happen. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.